Hi, thanks for taking the time to watch this recording. In this demonstration, we are going to take a look at API and reverse proxy deployments using the Sky High Security Service Edge platform. One of Sky High Security's main differentiation starts with our API-based approach to cloud security. Sky High Security pioneered SaaS protection by embedding security directly into the workflows of top applications like Microsoft 365, Workday, Zoom, and more without the dependency of agents or clients. To provide secure access for higher risk use cases, Sky High Security can also employ adaptive access using remote browser isolation through a reverse proxy approach. Sky High Security secures cloud-to-cloud -cloud connections effortlessly for 45 supported cloud services out of the box, shielding the data contained within them from breaches while most of the competition rely heavily on forward proxy solutions to accomplish the same. In this demonstration, we will look at a couple of API and reverse proxy examples, so let's get started. Before we demonstrate user experience when using a SaaS application that has been enabled for API or reverse proxy control, let's first look at the setup. Here you can see we are logged into the Sky High Security Console under the Service Management UI, which provides a centralized location for managing all cloud service providers that are integrated from an API or reverse proxy perspective. In this example, we're gonna use Microsoft 365 and we can confirm our API integration is up and running. For M365, API integration either requires using a global administrator account to authorize the required permissions that allows SkyHight to perform functions like activity to monitoring and file scanning for DLP or malware. If a global administrator account is not available or preferred, an option is also provided to connect SkyHight to the M365 APIs through a custom application with asymmetric authentication instead. Reverse proxy is a method with which SkyHight controls access to sanctioned SaaS applications from unmanaged devices. The method used to get unmanaged devices to go through the reverse proxy is by plugging into the SAML authentication process. By doing this, we can ensure that all devices, managed or unmanaged, are redirected through the reverse proxy after authentication. When it comes to setting up the SkyHight reverse proxy, users generally configure a domain for the reverse proxy URL along with picking the regions where the reverse proxies will be available. With M365 enabled for API and reverse proxy, let's demonstrate some examples of these controls in action. We'll start with APIs and use a basic credit card DLP rule that will trigger as follows. Any uploads containing 15 or more instances of a credit card number will be quarantined and the end user will receive an email notification to remediate the incident by providing a justification or reason. Anything uploaded with less than 15 records will just log an incident with different severities. Switching to a browser that's logged into M365, we're going to upload three files. Only one of them contains 15 credit card records. Once the files are uploaded, the event should trigger the API and the content is scanned against our DLP policies. As you can see, the API has triggered and the file with 15 records has been replaced with a tombstone file informing the user that the updated the upload violated a policy. Similarly, if they check their email, we can see that email notification waiting for the user to take action. Switching back to the Sky High Security Console, we can navigate to the incidents page to review the violations and all necessary details, including the matched highlights of the actual content that had triggered the policy. For the next API example, let's look at a collaboration control rule. This policy will block the collaboration or sharing of sensitive documents based on their classification label to any external domains. First, we will share a document that doesn't contain any sensitive data to an external user. And then second, we will share a second file to the same external user, but this time the second file has been tagged as a restricted document. The sharing event triggers the API to analyze the collaboration against the policy. And as we can see, when we check the inbox of the external user, we only see the one shared document available for collaboration that didn't have the sensitive data. Switching back to the Sky High Console policy incident page, we can see that the second shared file with a sensitive classification label was in fact revoked from sharing. For our last example, let's look at reverse proxy. Here you can see we have a policy that will apply DLP if the device accessing M365 is unmanaged. To determine whether or not a device is managed versus unmanaged, reverse proxy will perform a certificate check. 
So switching back to a browser, we're going to request M365 and because it is a SAML integrated service, once the user authenticates successfully, and for this demo, we have to cancel the certificate check to make the device unmanaged. And then we can see the user access M365 through the reverse proxy URL if you look at the address bar. And because our device is unmanaged, if we try to download anything, it will be tagged for a DLP policy. And in this case, if you try to download a file with sensitive data, the download is blocked and instead the user receives a tombstone file informing the user that the downloaded file violated policy. And switching back to the incidents page of the Sky High Security Console, we can also locate our blocked download incident with all the necessary details. And with that, we conclude this demonstration of API and reverse proxy using Sky High Security Service Edge. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo.